Hi, welcome to the data tech. So today I'm going to show you how to build your own spark code generator because companies are doing it. Companies are creating such frameworks where a developer from different background with Informatica or SQL or database developer uh, other than data engineers are still able to generate or code in spark environment with the help of this kind of framework called spark code generator so it's a, just a normal python code uh, with which i'm just uh, going to show you how to generate a spark code generator so for which uh, you need the PySpark library to be get installed you can use pip install PySpark, or if you are using pycharm or any other ids go to settings and in python interpreter you can just download it and second thing what I'm going to do here is after generating this code, I'm directly going to release it in GitHub. So that is also part of this code. So, uh, so this code does both. It generates a code and it asks you whether you want to release it to GitHub or not. If yes, so this code will also do the deployment as well. So the first thing I just created a method generate spark join. So I have the agent of the code is I have two files and then I have to do a join. So for this, I just need to create a spark code. So that means you need to create two data frames and then for input and one data frame and for an output and then you have to perform a join. Right. So here I'm getting data frame name, data frame second of data frame name and then data frame one file path and then data frame two file path and then the join column. So the file I'll show you. So this is second file which has only two columns, three records, and there is no columns, column names. And then this is the first file which has five columns, 10 rows, and there is no column name. So just to create a column name, I'm just creating the structure type schema. I'm just adding all the columns, and then I'm passing the schema to my uh, data frame. During uh, the creation of the data frame, I'm passing the schema. Okay, so now I'm just creating the Spark code. So this is what it is all about. So this will be uh, get printed on your console as well, and this will be also saved as a file as well. I'll show you both. So this is whatever the Spark code, the snapshot you have to add, you can add, and then I'm just getting the information from the user. So this data frame name to second data frame name and the file path, all I'll be getting from the user. That is the developer or whoever using the Spark code generator. And then this is the command, the syntax that I'm creating for the join. And then like, uh, and then I'm just finally invoking an action so that so you can customize this. So this code is available in my GitHub page and the GitHub link is there in the description box of this video. Now I'm just returning this Spark code. So this is one code, like one functionality join, like I'm creating that as an one function. So you can create multiple function for the different uh, logics and then you can invoke it when it is needed, right? So this is just a sample that I'm showing with this. You can start creating your own spark code generator and then this function create github release is another function which actually get all the information from the uh, developer like what is the owner of the repository and what is the repository name and then access token release name release tag and, and this kind of information you can see here owner repo name access token tag name release name and release body and then assert file path so assert file path is nothing but the file which consists of the spark code that has been got generated and temporarily stored in your machine so that will be get uploaded so now there is something called upload assert release dot upload assert then it will be uploaded to the github so and then the main method so like i have a print statement like a welcome message and it's like a prompting so it asks for file path for the first data frame and the data frame name and file path for the second file and then second data frame name and it's asked for the join column so you have to mention it and then it asks for the output data frame name and finally it invokes the generate spark join method and it pass all the information and then it generates the code so once the code is generated you will be i'm just printing it so that you can able to see in the console and then this is the snapshot like where i'm writing this code temporarily somewhere in the machine and then this will be get uploaded to the github so for github again i'm just asking the developer do you want to deploy the generated code yes or no it's up to you, you if you give s is ask for all the informations from you and with this information it just upload the code to github so for uploading the code to github so the one main thing is you have to generate an access token so let me show you how to create that first so if this is my github page and this sb gautam is the owner and then PySpark is the repository name so this information i'll be giving uh, in the prompt so now for generating the access token click your profile picture and then go to settings and in the settings left hand side you'll be seeing something called developer settings just click this 
and here you will be seeing personal access token and you have to click token classic and now you can see generate new token option here just click generate new token classic and you give some name and for example i'll give data and you can just uh, set the expiration dates like you can go for seven days minimum or you can go for custom as well so you can you have to fill all these check boxes that is important it's up to you but uh, like for the first time try to tick all these because access token acts like uh, uh, a gateway between your code and your github so that access token what are all the activities an access token can perform so that is what all these check boxes is all about so for the first time you don't want to get deep into this stuff just tick all these stuff and then all these check boxes and just click generate token so once you click generate token like it asks for the password and you have to give your github password and the token will be get generated so once your token is got generated it looks like this you can see here so this is my token it looks like this okay so now back to the code and i'll run this code now so let me run this okay so the prompt started it says welcome to the spark joint transformation generator it asks for my input file so i have my input file here so this is my windows input file this if this is something related to linux you can change it so i'm just giving my first input path and the data frame name i'm just giving d1 and then it is asking for my second input file path i'll give it here and then d2 and join column so here if you see i created the struct schemas right so i have given uh, column one so this column one is going to be the join column so let me give column one enter so output data frame let me give out df and then see you can see the code is got printed here it has all the spark session builder and then it creates the d1 and d2 data frames with all struct types and assigning columns to the uh, data set which is inside my file and then it is performing the join d1 dot join d2 on call and how it is going to be an inner join okay so now i'm just invoking the actions it's all there so it is asking me whether you have to deploy this code yes let me say yes it is asking for the owner of the repository as i told you the owner of the repository is sb gautam so that is the name that you have to give let me show you here yes so sb gautam you can see here so let me give sb gautam enter and it is asking for the repository name which is spicepark so you can see here spicepark spark enter it is asking for the access token so we generated it right so just copy this access token paste it here enter so release name so you can give any name so let me give release 15 v15 version 15 and then sub version like version tag name like i'll give 15.0 and then body i say like spark code spark join code enter so now it will be get uploaded to our github as well yes it's done so let's verify it let me go to my repository and on the right hand side see v15 latest right so v15 just click it and you can see see this is now it's got uploaded the assert if you click this is the file which holds your code so this will be get downloaded here so let me download this and then open this file yeah, let me open this file yep so the code is here so this is your code so this is the beginning you can develop this and you can develop this as a framework and thanks for watching if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues and i do have a lot of big data and data engineering videos in my channel please have a look thanks for watching